All right, hey, it's Michael with the Trigger Happy Kittens here in Dual Dragon Studios, and I'm playing with the Mini Moog and uh, Animoog on the iPad, running through the iConnect MIDI 2 Plus. And one of the beautiful things about the uh, Korg SQ1 16-step sequencer is it has quite a few features uh, for inputs and outputs. And with the Moog, you can run all those inputs and outputs into your control voltages on the back here. And so I've got the gate running into the gate, uh, controlling the envelope. And I'm also controlling the, uh, the filter with a foot pedal, uh, the e EHX uh, uh, expression pedal. And I am also controlling uh, the wave with the EHX 8-step. Uh, and the pitch is being run through the control voltage output here. Not sure if you can see that. But what this does is it leaves you a lot of room for running your MIDI without any interference. For instance, if I were to run um, my uh, EHX 8-step uh, through the 8-step program through the uh, MIDI through and run my Korg SQ1 through the uh, MIDI uh, in, that would actually cut off my filter control and limit some of the things that I could do on here. While I could still play around with the pedal and get my filter control, it would limit some of my performance capability. But with the SQ1, unlike some other sequencers, uh, you've just got a little bit more flexibility. And while those sequencers do have some CD out, they don't have quite as much as the SQ1. And the SQ1 can also take little bits. And if you're really into the little bits, they're, they're cheap and they're fun. So, anyway, that's it for now. I love my Moog, and I hope you do too.